Here is an overview of the supplies that I'm going to use in this project. Now, as always, I always pull things as I go along and create the wreath, so I'll let you know that once I get to it. Okay, I am starting with a 14 inch uh, frame and I just put my mesh on my frame in a bubble uh, technique. And then this heart with the love uh, metal letters is from the Dollar Tree. This Poly Pro 10 inch mesh uh, black and natural color is from Hobby Lobby. These two ribbons I'm going to use in the wreath are also from um, Hobby Lobby. Now this craft and black uh, truck with the red heart and the gingham is from Craft Outlet and the raffia is from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to start with my uh, black and natural mesh and I'm um, measuring out 20 inches and I'm going to fold it on the ends. I'll show you how to do that or how I do it. And uh, so I'm just cutting 20 inch strips of this 10 inch mesh. There's 12 pipe cleaners. So I have 12 of these 20 inch uh, little bundles that I'm going to do. Okay, so then how I do it is I um, fold the ends and then I do a ruffle or kind of gather it in the middle and I make sure that those ends are tucked under so that they don't you know stick out because that is what tends to fray when you're working with deco mesh so that's what I do I fold the ends uh, on each end and then I gather it in the middle and that gives me like a ruffle And I will untwist each one of those pipe cleaners, put my ruffle in there and twist it back. And then I will, I work in stages like this and then I'll cut my ribbon, I'll untwist it and, um, you know, work with my ribbon like that. There are a lot of wreath makers. There are a lot of different styles. So you just have to find what works for you and go with that. Here are my ribbons that I'm going to make my tails for. The XX and the II are from Hobby Lobby. Those came from the Christmas section. And then this red and white gingham is from Craft Outlet. Now, um, this is just a another gadget. You know, I've told you guys I am a gadget junkie. And this is just a little board to wrap my ribbon around however many times I need to. And um, I just cut it all at one time. You don't necessarily need these gadgets. It's just something that I have. Um, you can measure them out on your mat or you can use a different board. But this is a 13 inch board. They're called Perfect Tails. They're from Burlap uh, Boutique.com uh, if you're interested in something like that. For my other ribbons, I also measured them out at 13 inches and this particular one um, was fraying on the end so that's why I'm using my lighter just to singe it a bit. Now this one right here I am just cutting with my pinking shears and I've decided to leave it straight and not dovetail it. Okay so then now I have my three sets of tails and then I'm going to show you how I kind of help uh, do like an assembly line. This just is something that works for me. I figure out which uh, which way I want my tails to go and I make like an X and then I put you know one in the middle and then um, that is what I 
you know, I use my little tiny attacher, my little stapler, and uh, that is what helps me, you know, speed up the process for me. It just makes me feel better. Like I said, there are many wreath makers. Everyone has their own style. So you have to figure out kind of what works for you if you are interested in making wreaths. Um, and then, you know, figure out um, what works so that you can get your groove down. What I'm showing here is I put raffia bows in six of the uh, pipe cleaner little bundles. And so I didn't put raffia in each of the, uh, with the ribbon, only because I didn't want it to be uh, too much raffia. <laughs> is that even a, um, an option? But I wanted my ribbons to be shown and I didn't want the raffia to kind of overtake it. And so then now it, with this craft and black uh, truck with the you know, little red hearts in it. I'm just making a two loop bow. I tried to, I'm sorry, I didn't measure it, uh, the loops, but I just made it big enough so it would stick out. And then when I have ribbons like this that have trucks on it, I don't dovetail them. I usually just cut them straight across and I used my pinking shears just to give it, you know, just some, some something fun on the ends. And then I'll put it in that pipe cleaner and then I cut off the excess of it and then I'll hot glue it just to seal it. Now is when I will put on my heart and again this came from the Dollar Tree. It ha I cut off the string and so I'm going to use those two holes at the top. I'm going to use my crocodile, uh, the hole puncher on my crocodile, and punch two holes at the bottom so that I can um, secure it to my wreath with some wire. Um, I have just this rusty wire that I picked up at Michael's. It was in the floral section hanging there in uh, with the other wire. Anyway, so I cut off a piece of that and I attach it to the frame of the wreath and then I thread it through the uh, sign and then I'll just curl the uh, wire on top of each other. I like the effect of it. I think it just kind of gives it extra character but you can always uh, do something different or hide uh, whatever you attach it with. Now that I have my sign on my wreath, I'll just uh, pull out all of the tails, make sure they're laying the right way, um, that none is stuck behind the sign, and that everything looks nice and neat.
For a hanger, I like to use the large jute that I get on a roll from Hobby Lobby. And uh, it's larger jute. I just tie it. I make sure that my wreath hangs nicely, you know, uh, like my sign, it's centered. And then I, and it, this is just a personal preference, but I cover up the back of my wreaths, these deco mesh wreaths with placemats from the Dollar Tree. I just use zip ties and attach it to the frame. My paper piercer kind of helps uh, put a hole in the placemat if the placemat is woven a little more tightly. And so everything looks nice and neat and tidy. And I feel very good about that. A country valentine wreath would not be complete without pit berries, of course. Y'all know that's my heart. Anyway, this re uh, red and white uh, strand of pit berries came from Michael's. I got that uh, after Christmas. It was like 60 or 70% off. Anyway, I was like, okay, those would work great for valentine's day so then i what i did is i untwisted them off of the the garland where they were individual little bundles and so then now i'm just using my uh, stem cutter and i'm just cutting off the excess of the like where it was wrapped around the garland because it was kind of wiry and so i didn't need that and so then um i'm just using some of the pit berries from hobby lobby as well those uh white berries are Hobby Lobby has them all of the time they're in the garland section uh, like where the green garland is and so I like to buy those especially when they're on sale and I untwist them and then they're individual little clusters of them and so then now I am just hot gluing and securing these berries all around the wreath uh, to make it all nice and cute <music> 